In a single hour, the sun delivers more energy to the Earth's surface than the world population consumes in a whole year. This is because existing technologies are not efficient enough to convert all of this wonderful and abundant natural resource to our benefit. Today, I'm going to introduce you to a friend of mine who has made huge strides in solving this challenge so that we can harvest more energy from the sun. And like so many other great innovators, he's based just down the road from me here in Oxford. Henry is a professor of physics at the Clarendon Laboratory in Oxford and a fellow of the Royal Society, specialising in solar energy research. Henry has been working on a new type of solar material called perovskite, which is revolutionising where the world's energy we do comes our perovskite from. Perovskite research and development. So here's the thing. Perovskites that occur naturally have a low light absorbing efficiency. Henry's breakthrough has been to make a new perovskite material that conducts electricity like no other. Do you want to come with me? Let's sit down and have a little chat. The solar industry is dominated almost entirely by silicon PV panels, but today the modules still only convert about 20, just over 20% of the solar light energy into electrical power, which means there's 80% untapped. So the big challenge is how do we, to keep driving down the cost of electricity from photovoltaics, keep the industry scaling, we need to somehow work out a new way of generating more and more power from these modules. And the silicon cells have basically reached their limit. They can't get any better. Well, perovskite is a specific crystal structure. There's actually a material, perovskite was discovered by Count Len Perovsky in the 1800s. For years, scientists have been looking for new materials which can absorb more of the energy from the blue end of the spectrum to harness the sun's rays in a way that is more efficient and non-polluting. This is where, over the last 10 years, Henry's discoveries have been such a breakthrough. Where we are at present in Yarnton, in north of Oxford, this is where we do the art research and development. And we've ironed out all the problems with the technology, the fundamental challenges with the technology. And now we're installing the equipment to do the first 100 megawatt plus production line. We're looking to see modules coming off that line mid, mid of next year. So we're close, we're very close. It does have the potential to completely transform the PV industry. We've got a way of producing similar cells, but with much more power output. They could be deployed en masse. They could completely transform the industry and really represent the next step improvement. But what really excites me is that here in my backyard in Oxford, we found another innovative company which could significantly improve the quality and sustainability of our planet. Join me next time for another exciting scientific innovation.